This is the case report about uh, adolescent uh, ZR and this is a case report uh, from our clinic and the uh, last three years we opened that uh, adolescent department. This, this is not of course face of our patient. So the patient ZR uh, have 17 years old now in this very moment he is mature 18 years old. But when he appeared at the clinic, he was uh, uh, brought with the director of high school and the main psychologist from the high school. And he was, his behavior was so strange. And the director and the main psychologist told us he is no former ZR. Uh, he lost 50 kilograms in the last five months and he's very high above approximately two meters. And uh, he stopped with the uh, uh, he stopped with the school and he stopped with sports activity. He was the best volleyball player and the best uh, uh, and the best in uh, Aikido. He he's very charming. He's still very charming. And he uh, one year ago he had a girlfriend and he wanted to marry. Okay, it was very he was very young. Uh, but in the last uh, one year and a half, slowly and slowly diseases appeared. So it means that from time to time, he instead uh, he told his father that he's going to school, but instead he at first visiting monastery Rakovica that is um, located in the, near the center of the Belgrade. Uh, he wanted to work at monastery only and, and only as a slave in the garden, the hardest job. And he didn't, uh, in that moment, one year ago, he didn't want to become a priest. He just told the people in the monastery that he wanted to work as a slave in a garden. He absolutely denied to eat and to drink. So when he brought to our clinic, uh, he was in a very, very bad condition. Uh, you can imagine uh, if, if you don't eat, uh, how it look like and you don't uh, drink three months maybe uh, he can uh, drink only the water from monastery garden not uh, not our uh, not uh, other water and um, of course a year ago he damaged his mobile phone he stopped with facebook instagram profile everything um, he and the last three months, it means this year, he stopped talking at all, especially with his father and younger sister. Uh, we, uh, and we as the doctors noticed that he have some strange moving with his fingers. Uh, his father is a somehow famous football coach. And instead to help him, uh, he actually paying the many monasteries for praying for his son. Of course, patient as a patient, I talk about young adolescent men, he denied to go to a doctor. Our first examination uh, was the patient uh, ZR was in stupor. You know what that means, it's stupor state. And position of his hands uh, was like a praying and his head, uh, his head was in, at first, of several weeks in antiflexia position so we can notice long lashes that many women maybe wanted to have. No one moving we noticed. Um, he was of course hectic and he didn't speak at all and he avoid, absolutely avoid eye contact. He was only possible to, we, we can only possible to measure his height, weight and to uh, to control the blood pressure. Um, uh, at first, of course, we had to fe feed him anyhow, so he had liters and liters of uh, intravenous infusions, mo uh, mostly Ringer, 5% uh, glucosa with vitamins, and we decided to give him haloperidol, diazepam, in evening dose, and after that, olanzapine as our disposable tablet. All laboratory tests was okay, but anemia, sideropenica uh, was accepted, was, uh, was not surprising us. After seven days of such a treatment at intensive adolescent care, he sometimes in the morning visit uh, sent, uh, t told us just one sentence, why I'm here, 
and avoiding, still avoiding eye contact. Uh, and his hand uh, now, uh, the, la the first uh, week, it was in retroflexia. Um, that was, unfortunately, that period that is the first month of this year, that was the period that is uh, before the, the Orthodox, uh, Orthodox uh, cr Christmas. So in that time, people didn't eat uh, at all at Wednesday and, and Friday, so it was very suitable for that man, for that young man, uh, to tell us don't, uh, that he didn't want to, to eat nothing, because it is okay, it, it is the before Christmas, uh, Orthodox Christmas time. Uh, and we also got information about uh, uh, that uh, he, uh, the last uh, six months ago, um, uh, after the Rakovica monastery, that he actually walking uh, by foot uh, around, uh, surrounding uh, 200 kilometers around Belgrade, actually around in the Serbia, walking by foot to the an another monasteries and churches, and also uh, tr uh, also worked as a slave in the garden. And if that uh, people from the monastery asked him what you w want to be, he didn't want to become a priest. He just wanted to uh, to beca became a slave. After 14 days of very intensive care and lot of treatments, in laboratory tests, because of haloperidol, you know, it's a neuroleptic, uh, CPK increases almost 1,000, so we decided to instead of uh, haloperidol, to give him flufenazine. Why flufenazine? Why not aripriprazole or something um, more fashionable? To say fashionable, because the ideas of guiltiness was so intensive and is long-lasting, almost one year. And we give him flufenazine, I give him 15 milligrams uh, in the, during the day, and still with olanzapine continue our dispersible tablets, you know that olanzapine can increase appetite uh, as a side effect, but in this, uh, this uh, uh, case it will be very, very okay. Uh, and uh, after two weeks I just added a little, little quarter of tablets of mirtazepam in the evening dose. Um, he got, uh, after two weeks, he got five kilograms, and he looks fresher, uh, but uh, now uh, appears some other sentence, ask my father, ask my father. And um, uh, from time to time we notice that appear eye contact after two weeks. I, uh, before that, no. Um, and I can mention, uh, it's a slide before, that uh, in the adolescent department there are of course girls, uh, girl, uh, as a, as a patient, but he didn't have any contact with girl and he didn't watch television, he didn't want to use internet, nothing, nothing, just, just uh, sit and uh, lay down in, in his bed. After three weeks, actually after 21 day, patient said, uh, told me that he wanted to see his sister, younger sister, and he also told me that his younger sister looked like his mother. He lost his mother when he was seven years old, and he also told me that his sentences. He actually uh, became to talk that his mother was a very beautiful lady and that his younger sister looked like his mother, as he remembered from pictures. And now we noticed frequently eye contact, actually during a conver little conversation, uh, continuing eye contact. He started to eat fish and bread. Uh, of course, that we non-stop control digestive functions, laboratory tests, as we was afraid about uh, obstipation because his uh, uh, treatment with fish and bread that he inst insisted uh, can maybe uh, maybe uh, maybe arouse some some other digestive problems, uh, not only obstipation but. Uh, maybe some some other uh, risky uh, situation for surgeons, so we control him non-stop. And he was not at stupor, not at all, he moved. And I was afraid that maybe tardive dyskinesia will appear because of flufenazine, but fortunately didn't appear tardive dyskinesia as a side effect of flufenazine. And uh, 
also uh, he was sleeping well he got 10 kilograms after three weeks it's okay and we noticed in the morning that in the morning visit he even will smile we think that is because of mirtazepam and because of uh, treatment of the disease and despite all our control, medical technicians noticed that in toilet, um, uh, this patient uh, have some rituals. Before he, he came to the man toilet, he, um, uh, uh, the med medical technician heard that he said, God, uh, uh, forgive me, and that his ideas of guiltiness. After a month and a half at clinic, a patient talked to me and he wanted new books. At first he asked me for the books with absolutely religious thematic, but now he asked me about uh, books, uh, other books, and uh, he was afraid that he will not finish high school. That was a very, very good idea of him. Of course, it's a, it's a real... Uh, realistic fear but uh, it's a good idea that he thinking about something else than not just about religion also uh, we didn't notice any hallucination but still he was a little suspicious to his father um, and uh, during conversation because he started to con to talk i uh, be, uh, i asked him about one famous man from the serbian history Actually, the name and the second name of this patient was very rare in our pop popularity to tell. So that famous man from the history, from, who lived, lived in, had lived in 14th century, was a famous politician, warrior, strategist, and uh, had done uh, too much for the education for churches. And... Um, uh, it was somehow surprising that uh, surprising that this young man told me a lot of, about like his historical uh, hi, hi, historic person uh, all about the uh, life of that famous person uh, the name and the second name was the same but also what uh, surprised me but on a very positive way that uh, the patient didn't have the personalization ideas and that he didn't tell me uh, didn't tell me that maybe that man from the 14th century are any part of his family because the name and the second name i must uh, repeat was very rare it's very rare in serbia uh, so it was some sign that positive improvement happened on the exhibition day actually it was three uh, weeks ago from uh, before apak appeared uh, of course, we have done psychological tests that including projection tests, Rorschach, and the CT of the brain EEG monitoring. A CT of the brain EEG was okay, but of course, on the, uh, uh, we, on the projective psychological test, it was a psychotic episode that was obviously um, diagnostic impression was psychosis. And an exhibition day, it was his birthday, and he actually became a mature, 18 years old. Thank you for your attention. Well, any question about his, this poor patient? Not poor, not at all. Um, did you have the chance to see him again and follow up? Yes. When I return from Athens, uh, we will be the first check control. As I knew, and I have information from his father that he, that is, that he uh, followed the therapy. That is very important. And he now have uh, 60, 68 kilograms on two meters high. He's still hectic, but is much, much better. And he... Uh, uh, call uh, he calls uh, girls and boys from high school to for his birthday after the exhibition of the of the hospital and of course the high school uh, and the major director and psychologist uh, give him a chance to uh, to pass some exams out of order because he lost almost one year uh, working as a slave in monasteries 
and we pay much attention about his father because uh, he is a little bit, for, our, for the doctors, a little bit strange behavior. Um, no, he, he uh, no one during uh, during period when he started to talk, um, despite uh, ideas of guiltiness, he have never uh, mentioned su such, such a thing because in um, re on the religion level, suicidality among Orthodox uh, is something that is absolutely, uh, absolutely, absolutely out of mind. So. Uh, not accept acceptable, and fortunately, that somehow was okay um, for such a severe situation. Yes, you're correct. That rituals that patient uh, no, uh, that we noticed uh, in front of the toilet, absolutely, he had uh, uh, obsessive compulsive uh, rituals, and I think that a little addition, of, uh, a little addition of uh, mirtazepam or serotonergic helped a little bit, and uh, after that disappeared such uh, rituals. So, but at first he was in stupor, so it was not the moment to give him serotonergic at first, and especially in that cohectic state, because you know, the, um, you are a psychologist, but you work with doctors, that serotonergic, serotonergic the first and second generation, that you will lose appetite, so it will be disaster for him in the first period. But after that, I talk, talk about, as a doctor, of course, uh, I think that little addition of serotonergic helped for, uh, absolutely helped for obsessive compulsive little rituals. So that mix of psychotic and obsessive, you know that in practice, all of you know, that is very complicated to treat. And on every level, psychological level or medicament level, that combination is very complicated. Okay, thank you for attention.